Good afternoon everyone, it's Kay here. I'm back again to share with you the um, design team kit that I received from Handy Hippo a little while ago. Um, this is not the Christmas card package, that's a separate challenge altogether. Um, this one was previous to that and it was this beautiful Kaiser Craft six and a half paper inch paper pad which is absolutely delightful. I've used very little of it for the two projects I'm going to share with you. The newly um, available paper flowers, mulberry flowers, the carnation, which is this one, and then a kind of, I don't know quite what you'd call it really, a rose or something. It's not a, a it, like it's like a cottage rose, not a traditional rose, or those great big pom-pom flowers that you can get. I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, I'm waffling. Um, I also was given the Aperture cards here, which are very good. It's a very good quality, 300 GSM. It's very, very thick, very, very sturdy, and to allow for the Aperture in the front of the card, it's a trifold, which makes it a really, really lovely card. It feels like quality. Uh, when you work with it and the other thing of course was this woodware stamp which is really really lovely the rocking horse with baby's first Christmas on it I used a couple of more things that I know are available on Handy Hippo and I've forgotten the memento ink while I'm waffling on here um, and that is angel pink for those who like to know these things um, I've not actually used the memento this time because I used pink card from the pad which you'll see shortly. The other two things I used are these two Martha Stewart punches. One is the branch which I used to make the um, wreath with a little while ago which was also part of this package and the snowflake which I've had for some time but it really is a delight to work with. They're just hand punches and they're really very sturdy. They will cut through lightweight card but not heavy card. Okay so having said all of that the two cards that I've made out of all of these ingredients and there are only two for the moment. I shall come back again with more at a later date but I was anxious to get something done um, because of having received the kit. So the first one I did was this one and it is the foiled card from the Kaiser Craft pad which is called Silver Bells and you'll see it's foiled, it's snowdrops, snowdrops, snowflakes. I've actually embossed the um, stamp using this that I also received from Handy Hippo some time ago. It's the embossing powders from Lindy's Gang. Excellent quality, great stuff to use. So I water stamped and then applied the silver. It's a very light moonlight silver. Then fussy cut out the shape of the horse. You can see all the detail when you see it in real life. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up. I've used a couple of the carnation flowers with a couple of tiny little pink roses. The branch punch, as you can see here in the corner, and the snowflakes. And I just put a little bit of bling in the centre of the, of the snowflakes to just keep it all in keeping with the silver of the foil. I cut out the label having embossed Baby's First Christmas and then put it all together around the aperture so there is a dimension to it. I've used extra pads under the horse's head. I'm hoping that the camera will pick up the different height there. I've put a little bit of stickles um, around the mane and tail of the horse just to keep it in keeping with the festive colours behind. So that was the card for the little girl which I think you'll find is, well hopefully find, is, is quite cute. And the other one I did was for a boy because we can't leave the boys out at all. 
This is one of the spotty papers from the um, pad, the Kaiser Craft pad, and I've just used another Martha Stewart punch, and this is the longer punch, border punch, um, with the snowflakes in it. This time I've used Versamark for Baby's First Christmas, and again for the horse, which I've cut out very, very carefully, glued down with the sticky glue that I had in the pack. It does go such a long way. Eileen's Tacky Glue, very, very easy to use with a nice nozzle on the end, so it, it does keep everything where you would like it to be. I've used foam pads behind the horse, put these flowers on from my own stash and use the branch punch again just to add a little bit of interest and colour to the Christmas feel of the card. So I hope you found them interesting and something that you might like to try yourself. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Happy shopping, happy crafting. Do go over to Handy Hippo's site and just check out all the wonderful goodies. Thanks and bye-bye for now. Take care.